good afternoon everyone. It's August 25th, 2023, and this is my FSD Beta Test Loop 1 with 11.4.7. It's been a while since I've done a video, forgive my absence, it's been a really busy summer, lots of family trips and work, and I had some time today so I thought I'd do a quick video to show everyone the status of FSD Beta in my area. Okay, it's all clear, there's a decision to proceed and go to and make my right, our right turn on the Plum Canyon Road. with 11.4.6 so I'm curious to see what differences I know with 11.4.7 the biggest issues I'm running into is the usual lane selection and there is a spot coming back on Boat Cay Canyon Road in this area actually further up just before the light that is a repeatable issue so we'll see today how it's doing with 11.4.7 aggressive entering the turn. It can go. That was interesting. That was very different. It was very assertive getting into position to look. And a nice right turn onto Bouquet Canyon on a red. Still no turn signal with the merge, but and uh, no message I saw saying it was merging due to a lane merge there. not to proceed which is fine it's safe to do that should go now a little bit of a delay there but it's proceeding and that was an acceptable delay to be clear slowing down for the speed bumps good old 17 miles an hour Unfortunately, it takes a while to hit zero, so it sits at a stop sign a little longer than I like to sit, but there's no one behind me, so I'm not worried about a honk by an irritated California driver. Still creeping forward for visibility here. It's wide open. There we go. So it does really good with these speed bumps, but I've noticed there's some new speed bumps in my neighborhood. It's been months with those speed bumps there, and it still doesn't register them and slow down for them. A little bit of a slow acceleration there, and an interesting path prediction, but it, it proceeded without any interventions or uh, having to tap the accelerator. Okay, let's see how this left turn is doing. Nice approach. A little too far back. It's got to move forward a little more. I've got a few cars coming from the left, so it's going to have to stop. Stop. Okay. No, it's don't. Okay. It was a gap if it moved, but it wasn't moving fast enough. I've got another car from the right, three from the left. One more, and then there's a gap if it goes now. 
it's hesitating too long and it's gonna go and it made it but it was a little close to that car but it made it I did not have to intervene there I let it play out okay so now let's loop back to our start point okay this is I haven't done this in a while let's see how this does it, nope I don't want that direction and it recalculated just as I did that there we go. Perfect. signals into turn lanes it still turns them off if it's a long left turn lane and then back on closer to the turn but eh. one of the bugs I'm seeing uh, in the 11.4.x branch is it's been doing fine on these ones but on uh, the left turn off of Plum Canyon um, back to my start point it does this really lazy slow entry into the turn lane and sometimes leaves its back right corner out in the, the free flow lane causing people to have to slow down too much. It doesn't just enter the lane so I'm curious to see how it's doing today. Really slow starting up here but okay. Let's cut the turn. There we go. Did a good pass prediction on that one. The other bugs I've been having for a couple of revisions now is this left turn onto Bouquet Canyon Road. So as those who've been following my videos, it's two left turn lanes. If it picks the inside left turn lane, it in the, as I'm making the turn in the turn or just after the turn, it, it wants to get into the right lane really fast. Sometimes in the turn, this is an old bug. trying to get into the right lane there. Um, so up here, it, it will actually try to change lanes mid-turn. There's no reason to do it. So I'm curious to see what it's doing today. I have to watch it like a hawk because it sometimes will try to cut between two cars in the outside right turn lane. Left turn lane, my apologies. see what lane picks. It's probably going to pick the outermost left turn lane. Not bad for that passing that car in the middle lane. Yeah, it looks like it's picking the outer. Oh, no, there it changed its mind. Uh, that pickup truck behind me wasn't happy I did that. Now let's see if it does it. So as we hit this lane or just as we're turning left i'm going to watch carefully i gotta watch traffic too this flips into a right turn signal and you can see these two lights go these two cars go blue for the path prediction to merge if it does it i am going to cancel the turn the lane change
there. See, it's is it going to do it? See, then it really wants to get over to the right lane. It doesn't need to do that. It can stay in the left lane for a mile. Whatever, I'll leave it for now. So the next repeatable bug is coming up as we pass the, the last set of lights before the right turn. All of a sudden, it wants to get in the left lane to follow route. We want to stay in the right lane for the right turn on the Plum Canyon. If you watch, it's really interesting. As we pass the light, the the, the buffer lane for the bike lane, it, it, jut, it juts out on the visualization, but does it in reality. So it's almost like it thinks this lane doesn't continue, and it has some weird bug for these lane markings that are smooth all the way up. So usually it signals right before this light. Usually about now, but now we hit a red light, So and we've got a car coming up on the left, so it may not do it. But maybe it's been fixed too. It's the first time doing this in 11.4.7. See if I see that visualization issue here. There it is. See, it kind of bumps out for a second there. It's not quite as bad as it usually is. This has been working really well. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, it likes doing these really quick lane changes, which is fine for here because it's only half a mile. Step. Let's see how it's doing on this left turn lane entry on the Via Joyce Drive. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Via Joyce Drive. Now turn left well, onto Via right Joyce lane. Drive. See, this is what I mean. My, yeah. So the guy behind me had to slow down longer than he needed to if I just entered the lane. I would have been out of the way, but there we go. Left turn on to the start point, and that is test loop one with FSD beta 11.4.7.